Say thanks to our sound team again. They've done a great job this weekend. So give them a big hand. We appreciate them. It's a lot of work. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started here. We've got Strictly Clean and Decent and Jack Lawrence. Jack, is this the first time you've been out here with us? Yes. All right. Well, thanks for coming. I'm glad to be here. All right. Okay. Well, I'll let them introduce themselves. Give them a big hand.
ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all for being here. This could not be a better day. I'm here to tell you. This, this, this is the day of all days. It's a day I've been waiting for since about 1975. And, uh, and that's, that's not an exaggeration, you know. My music career started back in 1956. when I, That's the first time I heard Ron Shuffler play. And uh, I, about, I about tore the side out of my crib. <laughs> Over here on the bass, Ron Shepherd, make a move. So I'm introducing the band in the order that I met them, you know. So I met Ron in 56. Uh, that, 1975, ladies and gentlemen, I was, I, was a, I was an auto parts counter man with music as a side business. And I met this man right here at Clarence Green's Pawn Shop in Hudson, N.C. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't even own an acoustic guitar when I met Jack Lawrence. I, I'd been dabbling, trying to play some uh, real music for a while. And I met Jack in 1975, and he was, I guess, really one of the first uh, professional touring musicians that I ever got close to besides tall Paul Bobel, who wasn't a professional touring musician at the time. So Christy, we'll talk about this later. But when I met Jack Lawrence, folks, I was duly impressed, and I still am, Jackson, to this very day. Welcome, Jack Lawrence, to the band. Thank you. I've known him that long. <laughs> you might not know. Uh, 
Jack spent uh, 23 years of his life with Doc Watson. Uh, uh, 27. 27. Who's counting? Who's counting, yeah. It's only, only four years. And I've got some CDs here, and I don't need them. Yeah. And uh, running, a, running a Happy Valley special here today, for ten dollars, people, ten dollars, ten dollar CDs. It's, they're a bargain at half that price. But, uh, anyway, they're over at information, so they're so inclined. Right. And that's the cheapest way to take Jack home with you. Trust me. Just need to eat. Yes. Okay. Here's your old bluegrass song called The Dark Holler. since about 1981 or 82. And it's about all I can take. It's better and better and better. Rondo's the man, ladies and gentlemen. He, he truly is. It's not time, Laura. Now, who's running this show? Me or you? I hate a bossy woman, a bossy woman, don't you? I hate a bossy woman. I got that on TV, too. 
Laura Bush singer, you try and take over my show. Well, the next time you get a gig, I'm gonna show up. I remember my first two beers. That's a, I, I know who you're here with. I know you got your attorney with you. I don't care. Oh, well, excuse me, ma'am. I, I didn't know it was going to be such a personal event for us. Okay. All right, Jackson, I hate, to, I hate to get you involved in this drama, but I was getting heckled. Oh, I, yeah, I, I get that. It's not like she hasn't done that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I like this song. It's my favorite Grandpa Jones song. Uh, he was a funny, really funny guy. He was out working in his garden one day, and this, this this lady in a nice car rolled up into his driveway. Linda came down, and she leaned out and said, "Excuse me, sir, can you tell me how how much the lady of the house pays you to do this yard work?" And he looked at her and said, "Well, she doesn't pay me anything, but I do sleep with her." That's the cleanest Grandpa Jones story. <laughs> uh, this is called Eight More Miles to the Moon. Ron, I 
didn't have a bass. And when I met Jack, I didn't have a guitar. And when I met K-Bob, I didn't have a wife. <laughs> so of all the things I did, I think that might have been the best thing I ever did. And I always admired a man who married above himself. This lady right here, ladies and gentlemen, her, her bluegrass career goes back a lot further than mine. She grew up in Alexandria, Virginia, and uh, that's a, that was a bluegrass hotbed during Kay's early years. And uh, one of the, well, I had a lot of records. I had records of Vaughn, of course, you know, back when they made them with chisels and hammers. And, uh, <laughs> but then later on, they started making records out of vinyl. And some of the first vinyl records I bought, I was a John Duffy fan, and I was ruined by John Duffy. I have to tell you, I was totally. I was ruined. <laughs> Jack, would you like for me to show the folks the John Duffy greeting? <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's up to you. I'm not sure I'd dig it much. But... No, I don't think I'd dig it much either, Jackson. <laughs> Folks, this girl over here grew up with, around a lot of all kinds of music, and she's one of the finest musicians I've ever met. And we're going to feature her right now, Kay Crouch on the piano. <laughs> Thank you. 
black headed women with your wacky woo. Fujiyama, got your mama, then your troubles increase. The viola and the cola, earthquake, milk shake, ten cents a piece. They hug you and kiss you each night. Buy two to what's worth the price. Back and neck and second where the bells do your back and women with your wacky woo. Jackson, you're going to sing us a John Hartford song. I am? Yeah, and then oh, I am. Yes. And then we're going to talk about Laura. <laughs> it's called Steamboat Whistle Blues. <laughs>
Oh my goodness, Jackson, that was mighty good, buddy. I think I think you ought to do two in a row for the good people of Happy Valley, Jack. Yeah, yeah that's a good idea. Some days it's like you wash your hands and you can't do a thing with them. Uh, this comes from an old, uh, great old bluegrass band called The Birds. <laughs> it's got some weird lyrics in it. This will be forewarned. Uh, they're not particularly nasty, but they are spooky. Mm. And just flat weird, so. But it was the birds. Yeah. It's spooky that you're in tune. I tune because I care. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I would honestly tune like if I could. <laughs> I'm the lover of the bayou. 
step with a half wet rag. I'm the lover of the bayou. I'm the lover of the bayou. I'm the lover of the bayou. Yes. I've been bragging on you. Why don't you, uh, why don't you say some things we need to know? Okay. <laughs> what do you want to know? <laughs> um, actually, the one thing that you do need to know is um, my sweetie over there, um, who... Me? <laughs> yes! <laughs> you and all three of you, actually. <laughs> but uh, I heard... Someone, uh, well, pa Patrick has, has been a force here and on the microphone uh, a couple times throughout the weekend, and I heard somebody tell him today, you really need to be a comedian, and I'm like, don't encourage him. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> but um, uh, he's a multi-instrumentalist and, a, and a, just like a stellar human being, so would yes. you welcome Patrick Crouch. <laughs> Those of you who were here early at 11 o'clock, you heard, heard Pat Kelleher from Dripsy County Court in Ireland, and he is going to be doing um, a show at The Hub, the Hudson Uptown Building, on Thursday night, uh, September 15th, and that will be a free outdoor concert, is it outdoors? Yes. And uh, you are all welcome to come back and hear Pat. He does a remarkable job. What else, Patrick? Are you that first part you told, I've not heard you lie like that in a long time. <laughs> I think everything's going pretty well, pretty well. Would you like to close out the program today, Kay Bob? Yes, I do want to say one more thing. Yes, ma'am. William Ritter, has, who introduced us, has been doing a phenomenal job all weekend. He's been on the microphone. He's been backstage. <laughs> smooth out front for the most part, sometimes not so much in the background, and anything that uh, makes it smooth is, is William, he really, this festival would not be what it has turned out to be this weekend without his help. Very very nice, Let's give one more hand. And I can't, Jack, can't thank you enough for being here today, appreciate oh, you. Sir. Sir. This next tune is going to feature K. Bob, my wife now. She's my sweetie. And uh, this one called My Window Faces the South. K. Bob, we're with this tune. Oh, six, nine. Forty-seven. <laughs> Omaha! <laughs>
reaches the south. I'm almost halfway to heaven. The snow is falling, but all I can see are those fields of cotton. Smiling back at me, well, my window faces the south. Though I'm far from that swanee river. Thank you so much. Oh. 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 Thank you all very much.